On Sunday, January 26, a Virginia Democrat delegate by the name of Chris Hurst was pulled over on suspicion of drunk driving. He failed a breathalyzer, he failed the field sobriety test, and the officer let him go on his way with a warning. I bet you're wondering, now why is it he didn't get thrown in jail? Because guess what? Me or you, we would have been tossed in the can. Take a listen to this story. Working for you to get answers about what happened during that DUI traffic stop involving Delegate Chris Hurst over the weekend. This is a story that we've been following closely throughout the day. Virginia Delegate Chris Hurst was pulled over in Christiansburg early Sunday morning, but was not arrested even though a field sobriety test put him at uh, slightly above the legal limit. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennedy explains a reason why he was not arrested. This law isn't necessarily a get out of jail free card, but it does protect state senators and delegates from getting arrested during a general assembly session, unless it's a serious crime. The Virginia Constitution says that legislators can be arrested for treason, felony, or breach of the peace during session, but they're immune from misdemeanors like DUIs. In Virginia, intoxicated driving doesn't become a felony charge until someone's third offense within a 10 year span or unless someone's injured or killed. Under that same immunity law, legislators also cannot be arrested under any civil process during session or 15 days before and after a session. Political and legal experts say this immunity law in Virginia was made hundreds of years ago. To prevent a governor or some other official from intimidating or even detaining legislators who weren't being cooperative and uh, could even prevent that delegate from making a crucial vote in Richmond. Police can still arrest someone for a suspected DUI, even if their blood alcohol level is under the legal limit, depending on how the driver is acting. I know the public will be concerned as, well, if it were me, would I be provided the same opportunity as someone who has immunity? No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, no. What's up, Patriots? American Joe here. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, there is no way we would have escaped the lockup. Keep in mind, this is a Democrat politician who supports gun laws that will turn you into a felon if you don't comply. He wants to make felons. He supports the idea of making Virginians into felons, otherwise non-criminal, citizens of Virginia, he supports the idea of making them criminals overnight if they don't comply with his laws. And yet he is completely immune. He is completely immune. Isn't that interesting? I find it fascinating that lawmakers draft laws to grant themselves immunity. What kind of fantasy world is that they're living in? How do we get a piece of that action? How? Aren't we the ones that pay the tax dollars? That pay the salaries of these lawmakers? They're sure not drafting laws to give us immunity, are they? No, 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 no. They're drafting laws to figure out how to make us criminals. Wow. So there is a call within Virginia to have Chris Hurst resign from his position. If you're a local Virginian over there and you're in his district, you might want to give him a little phone call. Maybe urge him to uh, step down and do the right thing. Lead by example. You want to keep the community safe, right? That's why you support all these gun laws, supposedly, because you want to keep the community safe. Well, how about you do your part, Chris Hurst, why don't you resign from your position and get your butt into rehab? Let the games begin. What? I was born for this Sunday one. I wanted it. We come to fall in place. There ain't no stopping me. I was born for this Sunday one. I wanted it. We come to fall in place. There ain't no stopping me. There ain't no stopping me.
stopping it. Ain't no stopping it. Ain't no stopping it. Let the games begin.